problems with your bath plug not opening and closing welcome to dim tips the channel that repairs revives and restores please don't forget to subscribe in the bottom right hand corner to support the channel so today i'm going to go ahead and explain why this sometimes actually happens one of the issues is is that the actual plug itself is not long enough and we'll show you a bit later on how to adjust that the other thing is sometimes a unit may actually need a little bit of tightening or maintenance so there's actually a phillips screw just on the side of the unit so you want to get in uh, a screwdriver a phillips one or a flathead and just open that screw up so i've just taken it off here's the actual unit i'm going to give that a good clean and this is the screw that was just attached there so now that that's come off what we can do is unscrew the rest of the unit which is this element here it's giving that unscrew and then the cover should actually come off Okay, once that's actually come off, there's this um, nut, I guess, the bolt, there you go, you can see it. And then you can actually take the cover off. It looks like for, in this bath they put silicone on here, which I may do because it may have leaked and not been great. And then I'm just going to show you the back of it as I've taken it out on the side. So I've already taken the bath cover off. Please check out my previous video where I'm actually replacing a tap unit and there's an actual rubber ring which I've just taken off which is on the back so I'm going to leave that there and I'm actually now going to just open up the unit and have a look at how the tension is in the actual element just across that's actually connecting the two. So I removed the screw which then attaches onto the cover and what you actually have is you have just like a bicycle you have, uh, on your own brakes or gears you've got actually a steel or could be aluminium wire and you can then adjust how much you want the actual plug to open or close by just spinning this around and then making an adjustment so what I'll do is I'm going to spin it to the highest location and then just give it a twirl and what you should be able to see on the actual plug itself is that it opens it closes first of all to the highest level and then it opens up quite a lot so I'm just going to show you the actual plug movement so as we're doing it that's closed and now that's open and that's perfect for what I need so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start cleaning all the various components first thing that I'm going to do is just close up the actual unit re-screwing everything in and then actually closing elements up and then doing a bit of an adjustment on the plug itself so adding the cover back on ensuring that any anything that's actually tying against it so this looks like it's pinching against it so that's nice and tight and then just getting the screw and putting the screw in and screwing it on what i'm going to be doing at the same time is also cleaning these elements here giving that a bit of a wipe down so that it's nice and clean it had a bit of looks like mold and mildew on top of that which you really do want to get rid of because it's only going to start seizing everything else up and what i will do is afterwards is just also get a bit rid of this lime scale as well but i can do that on the other side as the, as the unit is there components that i use to actually clean these and the first one is to get rid of the lime scale and all the dirt and it's fire cow. The other thing that I end up using is just washing up liquid. I just find that it works really well in cutting through anything. Lots of brands are available, but I end up using Fairy Liquid. I find that it works very well. Now, first of all, I'm gonna just let the fire cow soak in, and then afterwards, I'll give it a bit of a clean, and then following that, just with a bit of detergent, washing up liquid, sorry, and finishing off there. Okay, that's been long enough, just give it a little wipe through. You should see a lot of the lime scale getting removed. Yeah, it's gone pretty much. Doing the outside as well because there'll be a lot of lime scale caked on. And it is chrome plated so it'll look really nice after I'm finished with it. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing on the top side. So maybe hold placeholder there. Now just washing them off. Washing the fire cowl off. And if there's anything remaining, I'll just use up a little bit of washing up the quid. But actually it's not done a bad job, which is great. 
So now I can go ahead and reassemble everything against the bar. So I'm just going to bring through the hole, the unit that actually turns everything out and in, and just bring that through. Okay, I've placed the shield over the top, and then I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in nice and tight. Hopefully getting it in there. I'm going to use my spanner, adjustable spanner, or pliers, to just tighten it slightly. And then, finally, we can then place on the cap. Okay, so I'm just going to place this over the top, and then I'm just going to screw this in, because there's a Phillips just in there, and then tighten it. Okay, so now that bit is actually twisting and working, but there's one last thing that can be configured. The actual plug itself has a screw and a bolt, and a nut, sorry. And what you can do is you can adjust the height so that it just plunges when it needs to plunge and it's open when it needs to be open. So there's just a bit of readjustment of height and then that should now open and close as I need it to. So now opening and closing it, it works exactly as I needed it to. I'm very happy with the outcome there and nice and clean. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos and please do subscribe and leave a comment below.